updates. So yeah, lost words beyond the page. It's a cute. It's a cute little, uh, cute little game. He didn't go so much on the keyboard, so when he was sleeping on my lap, uh, his feet stretched and constantly hit the keyboard. I thought I stopped it in time. Oh, look. Another glorious morning. <laughs> Makes me sick! Okay, as much as I enjoy the music. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Okay, open book, grab scraps, left, right, up, crouch, jump, also crouch, interact. Okay. Do I like Tazo? No, I do not like Tazo. Well, I like the I like the dragon fruit Tazo, not the chai. I love, like, the hand-painted look. This book belongs to... Me! <laughs> Hello, journal. Is it okay if I call you that? It's a bit formal, I know. But we've only just met. Let me introduce myself. See? Uh, let's see. Oh, that's all some I was going to say we have to pick up some milk, we have tons of coffee, and some dance tea. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. That's you, journal. See, the, the, this thing is, like, so cute. I grab this? No? Oh, that's the cursor. Okay. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. Numpty? Numpty? What the hell kind of word is numpty? My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him... He who chews curtains. <laughs> great he likes name. Red for breakfast and blue for dinner. That's a great name for your brother. <laughs> Om nom nom. And then there's. And then there is Mom. Mom, my top tea drinking buddy. Queen of the kettle. Guardian of the biscuit tin. <laughs> oh. 
Oh! Ah! I go get my tea and this. This? Is Pinky. I think she's jealous of you, Journal. Pinky fact. Actually afraid of mice. What kind of cats are afraid of mice? Today's my birthday. Dad made his best cake. Mum and Gran started the singing. Ben gurgled along. I blew out the candles. Okay. Uh, I blew. And made a wish. We oh. Sorry, that be. There we go. Uh. There we go. The wish was to be taller than dad. Hey, it could happen. Since I was little, I've always dreamed of becoming a writer. This is where you come in, Journal. Starting is half the battle, so says Grant. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't worry about being good. Practice, practice, practice. Aw, Grant sounds great. Too high. How about now? There we go. Write about being you. That's something you know better than anyone. Gran always says. Uh, writes writer? No. A writer writes. A writer writes. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. I guess that birthday wish was a waste then. Maybe just a little. Gran said writing is about exploring your thoughts. It helps you unlock your feelings. Unlock! Now, where should I start? I'd like to write something that will make Gran smile. She always talks about little acorns growing into big trees. Is this supposed Is to be sending me the message to journey? Hey, that's up to you. If you see hidden messages in this game, maybe that should be. I put both. I want to write a story, but what kind? A romance? Wee! Wee! Science fiction. A romance? Yuck, yuck, yuck. A comedy? Maybe. I do love science. A drama? Is my humor too weird? Never. Fairy tales. Drama? Yarn or Rama. Fairy tales. Wait. Aren't those we're for kids? somewhere. A fantasy story. Eureka! That's it. So, how do I start my fantasy story? Once upon a time. Ugh. No one said this uh, would be easy. Already boring. Again. From the top. Oh, I'm back at the top. <laughs> I 
Not so far away, in the land of... Astoria. Oh, such a pretty land. A place of peace and magic. There lived a girl named... Grace. Sounds noble or spiritual, maybe? Georgia, someone who confronts monsters? Or Robin, free like a bird in the sky. Oh. Who shall we name it? Yeah, let's. To Georgia. Georgia. Everyone knew her by the bright color of her. Let's do purple dress. Of her purple dress, she was ready to begin her adventure. In fact, she'd been preparing for it her whole life, for she was the only apprentice. Of the village guardian, Elder Ava. Elder Ava. All characters in the story are, f are fictitious. Any relation to persons living or dead is pretty I don't think that really needs to be in this game, but I'd love it. Everyone was very fond of Georgia. Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers That's agreed a How much that no one was... Church. 45 bucks per Joy-Con? Is that like a single one or as a pair? Because 45 bucks seems a bit much. Uh, as... For them being used for a single holy shit yeah no that that's a bit much um, I can see it like if it's a replacement and you can't and you just want one uh, yeah of course it's less if you're platinum everything's less if you're platinum membership uh, no I would just be looking at like Amazon or right from Nintendo themselves to see uh, what they charge for the Joy Cons. Because even used, orange and purple set or 99 anywhere. Okay, so if there are 100 bucks per Joy Con uh, per set, then 45 would be about right. Uh, as for them being recharged, switch joy cons, uh, recharge means being used. I don't know if they have a way to test them. Uh, that would be something you would have to ask. Uh, if they're ne neon yellow and neon blue, check around. Uh, I do know that there are thirty part third party sellers such as like. Uh, Mad Cats makes a lot of the neon ones. Uh, but you would have to ask EB Games if there's a way that they test the controllers to make sure that they work, or if it's or if it's like buyer's beware, where you could run into issues of Joy-Con drift, uh, things like that. Okay, uh, so everyone was fond of Georgia. 
Her heart was full of curiosity and compassion. The villagers agreed that no one was as kind. She cared for others and liked making fruit punch. Smart. She loved learning and went nowhere without her books. Or playful. She was happily mischievous and always found something to play with. Um, so, they claim that they sent to head office and check them. If they did that, that's fine. Um, I would check online to see if you can find that set anywhere else. If not, uh, I would get them. Okay, so, Giorgio, what makes Georgia stand out? Was she uh, kinder than everyone else, smarter, or more playful than anyone else? Playful? Okay. As playful as that. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Not too far away, in the land of Astoria. There lived a young girl named Georgia. She was playful and loved using her wit and imagination. Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down. I think it was Astoria itself. I want to say it was a name that sounded familiar. Hello, little firefly. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's going to be so happy. Let's head back to the village. The firefly shared George's excitement. Hey, listen. We should pick up my gaming marbles on the way back. They are all over the place because i i fought a giant with them right firefly right fought a giant she didn't spread them everywhere she fought a giant good excuse this marble fell from a passing star this one was the glass eye of a sea sprite This one's almost as pretty as you, Firefly. Almost. Come on, Firefly. The village is just a bit further down. Wow! I love doing that. Let's go do it again. Old, creaky affair. Tip, tip, Careful, tip, Georgia. Tip, tip, Careful. Tip, tip, tip. Georgia imagines shark fins circling below. Phew! We made it, Firefly. And down! Georgia knew many secret paths back to the village. Like this one. She loved feeling the roots around her as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. Nearly there, Firefly. Just one more little slide. 
Here we go! This ain't little. The old cargo lift, barely used. Except by Georgia. Her own secret entrance to the village above. Georgia couldn't wait to show her Firefly the village. Maybe run on the rooftops. Or prank the village builders. Although I do gotta say that those Firefly? marbles were quite large. How did she carry them? Home. The warm lights and enticing smells of Elder Ava's hut welcomed her. Elder Ava! Happy birthday, George. Thank you. I've made a new friend. One of our sacred fireflies. Yes, uh, th this firefly used to belong to uh, to a, a venturing elf that used to like save this one princess that kept getting kidnapped over and over and over again, and uh, just got tired of trying to explain things, and the elf just wouldn't listen, even when she kept saying, "Hey, listen," and so. Firefly just left. Just left him there. This is a very special thing indeed. Does this mean? Yes, it is time. You get to go on adventure with the Firefly. Would you fetch me that box, please? Ava was sure that Georgia would rise to the occasion. Box, okay. Got it. <laughs> no one questions it, but got it. <laughs> Go ahead, open it. But I just put it away. This will store all the magic words you find. Some will stay with you, others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now, your training is complete. Congratulations, new guardian of the fireflies. Really? Guardian of the Fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. Ah. You should head to the Shrine Tree for the other Fireflies' blessing. I'll join you shortly, dear. This way? Oh, before I forget, a little something of mine to mark the occasion. Elder Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Georgia a gift. Ava's favorite pendant, set with a giant... Ruby, emerald, or sapphire. Bitch. Oh, Sapphire. Oh, message came in just, just too late. Now, off you go. I'm so proud of you, Georgia. And then she dies right there on the stairs. I can't 
can't wait to try out my magic book. And all at once, Georgia was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. Okay, well, I guess this is the best time. Oh, how'd you do that? I farted. Wait a minute. She's got the power. She must have the power. Georgia must be the new firefly. Oh! That was amazing. The best thing I've seen all morning. Really? Creating a mess was the best thing you saw all morning. Yet you're sweeping up a mess. And I'm just creating a mess. And you said that, that was the best thing you saw. Man, there's not much that happens in this village. <laughs> Why do we have to be on cargo duty all the time? Because I said so, bitch. I'm just looking at it. Georgia loved throwing stones over the rooftops. But not today. No, oh, because there are no more stones. Ah, missed. Look, Georgia has the book. <gasps> today, Hello? the Firefly Shrine was waiting. She looked over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? Cleared it right And it was home. Up. Looks better than ever. <laughs> Smell that. That's, That's like cackling old but ladies right there. I can always use more paradise. I'll take ten. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Georgia. Happy birthday. Thank you. No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Georgia. You too. Georgia has one, but that's different. She's special. But you say I'm You're special in a different way. No need to rush. Uh, I can't really rush. This only goes at a certain About speed. About the world that lay beyond. Yeah, no, can't lift it up anymore. Swayed in the warm breeze, its slats creaked with a gentle familiarity. As I'll have to start no trouble. Screw you! You don't know me. Besides, it's my birthday. I'm allowed to create trouble. That's it. Okay, that's what I figured. Haven't seen that book for a while, Georgia. You have to see the fireflies. Let me get the key. Your gate ah. sucks. Blast. Here. Let me show you how it's done. Georgia couldn't wait to see the fireflies. Soon they'd bless her. As new village guardian. Watch all the fireflies turn on her and not accept her. What's being guardian going to be like, Firefly? I hope it's adventurous. Let's swing into adventure. Yeah, it's a momentum. Perfect. Georgia crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. I once said I had to do this. I don't want to be guardian no more. It didn't feel like being hugged at all. No. It feels like there's tons of rock above you that could collapse at any moment. Rocky Cliff face posed no challenge to her now. 
was gonna say, now no one can get it back up. I didn't realize that they went back down. Secret bell to announce her arrival. I came in like a wrecking ball. in sight, home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. Go on. Show them what you can do. Use your word magic to get to the fire. I'm trying! That's it? They're accepting their new guardian at last. But is it lion. willingly or reluctantly? Glowing light surrounded her. A timeless energy that birthed stars and forged suns. Now she was part of it forever. And so Georgia became the new Firefly Guardian. But her biggest adventure was yet to come. Hello, Journal. This time of the year... It gets dark so early. Like the day is just an accident. And the night is how the world really works. Stars and fireflies glowing in the dark. I've never actually seen a firefly. Do you think that matters, Journal? Plan to someday. Can I catch him? No? Huh? Glowing things are cool. Especially in nature. They are. Nature has all the cool things. Don't they? On holiday in Wales. That, that explains it. It's a British game. And look up at the stars. But one night, we looked down instead. The Whoa. stars were shining in the Whoa. water. It Whoa. was like the sky got flipped upside down. <laughs> to infinity. Yes, this was an achievement. <laughs> I'm so happy. We took off our shoes and socks and waded into the water. As we walked over the pebbles, they glowed beneath our toes. What do you want? Grand said it was called bioluminescent. Ah, gotcha. Tiny plankton in the water being moved back and forth by the tide. Ugh, made it. I knew it was just little creatures, but it felt like magic. magic. Ooh, so shiny, so sparkly. I got up very early the next morning. I sneaked into the kitchen, got a jam jar, and went Brand down to was the still asleep. to where I'd seen the plankton.
Oof. No. Just had to drown, apparently. I like toss this into the water. There we go. That evening, I was so excited. I carefully put the jar on my bedside table. Carefully? Greatest night lamp ever! I waited for the night. Yeah. But it didn't glow. I was devastated. Why is the eye glowing? I showed Gran the jar. She laughed. Gran always says, You can't put a nature in cork. You can't put a cork in nature. They need sunlight and nutrients from the tide. Gran knows about those things. She used to be a marine biologist. Nature is cool. And complicated. Gran bought some special algae that would grow at home. We spent the whole day planning it. All right, um, so what should we put in first? Corals, a house, pebbles, sand, water, glass stones, company, or lights. Hmm. Let's do water first. Water? Man. Sand! Okay. Uh, pebbles? Shall we do pebbles next? Pebbles! Let's do some glass stones. Glass stones. Some coral. Corals. And we'll do a house. A house. Some company. Company. And some lights. Light. We took pictures for Gran's photo album, for our future selves to remember. How the tank took ages to fill. How we took turns, stirring the algae in. How happy we were when we had it all set. Just needs time to develop, said Gran. After six days, the algae was ready. I put the tank on my desk and ran my finger through the water. My own bit of magic. Is 
Gayatri. Shut the door. That was Mum. She just got a call. Uh -oh. She has to leave now. It sounded really bad. I have a weird feeling, feeling in my stomach. Something I don't know how to deal with. Hopefully. We just heard that Gran has had a stroke. Oh no. I don't want to believe it. I can't lose her. Not Gran. Georgia woke from a hazy, distant dream. Something unnatural had stirred her from slumber. Okay. Um, so yeah. We're going to stop there. And that is uh, Lost Words Beyond the Page. It's a cute little game. I think that's going to be our replacement on Thursdays now. And, uh, so yeah, we'll continue then. Let's see. And so, let's see, who is around to raid? Ooh, ooh. I'm tired. Wait, why is that It's not what I wanted. Come on, hurry up. Oh, it looks like there are... Quite a few people to raid. Ooh, let's see. Oh, the Veiled Hand. He's playing Minecraft. Let's go see if he still is. Playing. Uh, yeah, I should probably do that too. Yeah, he's still playing. Okay, we shall raid him. Shall raid him good. And uh, I guess I shall see everyone here um, next next Wednesday. Take care.